dear learners welcome to the channel again today's topic is limitations of tests of hypothesis first limitation is assumption dependence many hypothesis tests rely on specific assumptions about the data such as normality or independence of observations if these assumptions are violated the results of the test may be unreliable or invalid next limitation is sample size sensi activity the power of hypothesis tests which is the probability of correctly rejecting a false null hypothesis depends on the sample size some small sample size may lead to low power making it difficult to detect true effects or differences next limitation is type 1 and type 2 errors hypothesis tests are susceptible or two hypo or uh, two two types of errors type 1 uh, error occur when the null hypothesis is incorrectly rejected and type 2 error occur when the null hypothesis is incorrectly accepted balancing these errors require careful consideration of significance level and sample sizes next limitation is inability to prove causality hypothesis tests can determine whether there is evidence against the null hypothesis but they cannot establish causality correlation does not imply causation and hypothesis tests uh, alone cannot determine the direction or nature of relationships between variables next limitation is limited uh, generalization ability Re results from hypothesis tests are specific to the sample and may not generalize to the broader population external validity can be limited if the sample is not representative of the population of the interest uh, next uh, limitation is sensitivity to outliers uh, extreme values or outliers in the data can disproportionately influence the results of the hypothesis tests particularly if the sample size is small robustness checks or alternative methods may be necessary to assess the impact of outliers on the conclusion drawn from the test next limitation is multiplicity issues conducting multiple hypothesis tests increase the likelihood of obtaining significant results of um, by chance alone leading to inflated type 1 error rates adjustments such as bon ferroni correction are needed to control for multiple comparisons and maintain appropriate levels of significance next limitation is interpretation challenges the results of hypothesis tests are often presented in terms of statistical significance but this does not necessarily imply practical of substantive significance statistical significance does not always equate to meaningful or important effects in real world contexts next is ethical considerations in some cases conducting hypothesis tests may raise ethical concerns particularly if the research involves human subjects or sensitive topics researchers must consider the potential consequences of their findings and ensure that they adhere to ethical guidelines and principles last is subjectivity in decision making the interpretation of hypothesis tests results and the decision to reject or accept the null hypothesis may involve subjective judgments on the part of the researcher different individuals may reach different conclusions based on the same data leading to ambiguity or disagreement thank you so much